Welcome back to the GCN Tech Show. Myself, Mark, joining Alex. Even got him in a Christmas jumper. Oh, look at this thing. It's, it's, it's growing on you, isn't it? You're liking it now. Anyway, this marks the last GCN Tech Show of the year. And to go out on a bang, we are doing a big Bike Vault special, which you kind people have spent time photographing your bikes and sending in to us. Now, while the GCN app is sadly no more, we have the new old upload up, fired up, dusted off, ready for more action. So if you do want to submit your bikes into the Bike Vault, you need to do so by clicking the link in the description down below. Right, this year we're going to hit through the top 10 Bike Vault entries from eternity. Let's do this. So before we get into the top 10 Bike Vault entries ever, 2023 gave us Almost 30,000 bike uploads. And of the year, we of course had 52 weeks worth of the most super nice bike this week. And from that, my uploads were the most super nice twice, as were Ollie's. We also had some rather questionable uploads, including <laughs> one presented non-drive side and a couple of jaunty angles as How well. are they slipping through and making it as the most super nice bike this week? Clear violation of the rules. We also had um, someone even tried to upload Remco Evenepoel's pro <laughs> race bike no. and pass it off as their own in episode 275. Did you spot it? Yeah, we spied that. Okay, Sniff out a mile off. Um, however, I hear that <laughs> even with over 250 opportunities, not once, did Ollie ring the bell? Ollie never rings the bell. Even if he votes the bike super nice, doesn't ring the bell himself. He always hands it off to somebody else. A beautiful bike. I love it. On this occasion, I'm going to ring the bell. <laughs> there you go. Who's next? That was a special one. Yeah. Make sure you take that in. Mm. That doesn't happen Soak often. And this week it's is not, not the week. No, because he's not here. <laughs> um, I'll tell you what, actually. Ollie, what have you got to say for yourself? Let's find out. Hey, tech squad. Sorry, uh, sorry, I'm not on the show. I'm at home right now with a cold. I didn't want to infect Alex. Um, sorry, I let a triathlete on the show. And um, yeah, I mean, as regards to you know me never ringing the bell. Well, that's why we have two people on the show because I'm just too strong. If I were to ring the bell, I'd probably break it and, and damage it. Okay, right, so this list, as Marcus said, is the top 10 most super nice voted bikes ever since the GCN app has existed. Now, we have had some bikes which have had a higher percentage votes of super nice, but perhaps didn't get many votes on them. So to make this fair, we've only... Is that like yours that... Yeah, yeah, it's mine. So to make this fair, we've only included bikes which have been voted on at least a thousand times. Otherwise, the percentage might be a bit skewed. Um, also, do you know I just changed slightly before we get onto that? I've picked out three things I would like to highlight. Two are my favourite GCN app usernames. <laughs> beep beep, I'm a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure you're prepared for the next one. Jeff Bezos, lazy eye. <laughs> I just thought, who, who's creating their usernames as that? Also, quite possibly the most important um, super nice vote of the entire year of 2023 is this. This wow. is from Mitch Six, and this is actually the one bike which I spent yesterday at least an hour searching through all the shows to find the one that I liked the best. That is amazing, isn't so it? So Mitch Six, here's my bit of appreciation for your bike. That there is incredible. Go. Even the hubs are anodyne. Wow. Anyway. It's incredible. We can spend a lot of time. Right. Are we going to start? Number 10. Yeah, okay bit of scrolling to do. So Come that is from Liam. Yeah. It's Canyon Aero. 78% vote super nice this. Canyon Aero, this is like a couple of generations back, yeah, isn't rim it? Yeah, break. break. Whoa. Well, you used to race on this pre, this is, pre right, GCN this, days. This model of Aero, it sits close to my heart because it was the last bike like model of bike that I was racing on, basically. It's interesting, isn't it? I think we all um, have sort of fond memories of those bikes that we used to spend a lot of time on honing in our position. Like I really like the old Speedmax. Not to say I don't love the new yeah. triathlon Speedmax, but yeah, I've got very fond memories. Well, I think it's just how it is, isn't it? Like yeah. bikes have undoubtedly evolved, but um, I don't know. Still a place for rim brakes in the world. And um, what do you think of this bike, though? What are we gonna we gonna judge and rate it? Well, firstly, composition, beautiful. Yeah. Next to a container. 
<laughs> lovely rusty. little rusty container. They've put a nice fade on the image, yeah. which goes lovely with that rust. Um, and Gold the, chain, fist bump. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah. Um, massive chain rings. Big boys, campag. Oh. You don't often see campag on no. a Canyon bike, do you? Um, and is that, sorry, I need to do a little zooming in. Is it a carbon saddle? Uh, I, I can't quite tell. It's very slim. It's What's crazy. your thoughts on a deeper wheel rim at the back and a shallower wheel rim at the front? I like it for sort of like, it's a good idea for things like crit racing it, it, and also it just looks cool, doesn't it? I just think it would look cooler with a deep boy in the front as well. Uh, I, I think road bikes do look a little bit weird. If you put an 808 on the front, that's going to look a bit yeah. odd. Okay, we can agree I think the proportions, I mean, it works quite nicely, the proportions of the frame with that front wheel. All right, um, wave away. We love it as well. Yeah, we do, yeah. <laughs> Are we going to super nice this? Should we, should we we'll vote on it? All right, on three, you've got to say what your initial thoughts are. One, two, three. Super, super nice. nice. Yeah! yeah! Oh, we'll leave this up. Yeah, I think we'll we're going to need it more. We've got nine more to go. Yeah. Okay, next in is from Ionator, 79%, Specialized S-Works Avenge. I like it. Very what is nice. it lent up against? An elaborate Ooh. bird table? Oh yeah, wow. Um, it's a very cool paintwork, and I don't know if it's just the light catching it, but it almost has that... Can you remember Specialized did that chromatic paintwork where it sort of changed in the heat for the Oh, Tokyo. I do remember that. Was it Tokyo they did it for? They did it on bikes, a couple of helmets. Um, I don't think it's not the right <clears throat> shade, but, but it's kind of got But this is like a candy that. red. This is cool. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. Um, I, I gotta be totally honest. Two obscure observations. I think I know what you're gonna say. Uh, one, I like the frogs on the little stool in the background with the umbrella. That was what I thought you were <laughs> going to say. I knew that. you wouldn't be uh, that. Also, I actually really don't like the red bar tape. I was gonna say that. Yeah, it's it's clashing. It just doesn't. It's, it's absolutely it's totally, incredible bike. Yeah. Um, the only other thing, and maybe this is just me being pernickety. If you're going to go to all the effort of taking this nice clean shot of your bike, yeah. take the saddlebag off. Oh, yeah. Mm. Not that I've got a thing against saddlebags, but, you know. And bar bag. Last no, week. No, I do have a thing Last against bar bags. Last week you were telling us you didn't like bar bags. I do bags. have a thing Or flared bags, handlebars. But... It hasn't got a flared handlebar, is it? No. No, it's all right. Um, okay, on three, we're going to say what we like. Um, one, two, three. Nice. nice. <sighs> wow, there we go. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, right, who's who next? It? Ionator. So we have got this one in from Jack Williams. Uh, 81% is the BMC Time Machine Road 014. Um, talking of which, do you think names are just getting a bit ridiculous? We've, <laughs> yeah. got, it, we've got it with running shoes as well. And I, I don't know what the marketing team are thinking. They're like, New Balance go. We've got the New Balance Speed, F Speed Cell Foam <laughs> X192 Super Gel. You're like, yeah. wow, okay, that rolls off the tongue. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say. Right, back to the bike. We have bloody travel on chat. Yeah, sorry. Uh, it's... it's a bit dark to see some of the image. I Yeah, I mean, it's a nice bike. It is a nice it bike. It is a really nice bike. It's. Um... What do you think of the like half-integrated bottle cage holders? I have to be honest, I've not used them. I've always thought it was odd, but then I understand the reasons behind it. Um... Yeah, it's, it's smart, innovation. Yeah. I, li I, I like, it, even if they aren't always necessarily cool, I yeah. do like people pushing innovation. Okay. Um, would I want this myself? Possibly not. That's very, very um, well said, I think. You're trying okay. not to offend anybody. Yeah. Um, I don't like the fact it's lent up against the wall. That's going to scratch a left-hand shifter. I don't like the fact that the valves are actually not quite aligned. I don't like the fact that I think you've got different tyres front to rear. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, you're right. Yeah. yeah um, but all in all, <laughs> I quite. It's kind of cool. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. On three. One, two, three. Nice. nice. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, um, Jack Williams. Next, Tom. K. Eighty-two percent this received is a Trek Madone SLR seven. Oh, this looks Rich like a Richmond, big sized bike. That's Richmond Park, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. How do you know that? Because uh, it actually says underneath. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it's oh, quite a bit faster than the previous 11 kilo steel commuter with mud guards. This yeah, is going to be I'd quite an upgrade say. going to that. Uh, first things first, oh, tan sidewalls. Yeah, great. that was cool. I like um, that. 
Electronic shifting. So this brakes. is a frame, talking of deep wheels. This is a yeah. frame I think you can get away with some deeper wheels on because of the proportions. So you think like 80 mil deep you would be okay? You could potentially get away with. Well, um, Tom.k, Mark says 80 mils are okay for you. Yeah. Well, look, it's well presented. It could have been using a shadow stand, available at shop.globalcyclenetwork.com instead of a stick. Um, but I'm struggling to find fault with it. Valves are aligned, it's in the correct gear. Cranks are aligned, there's no unnecessary accessories. And I think I've decided, are you ready? Okay, yeah. Three, two, one, super nice. nice. Oh, first disagreement. Oh, oh no. Whatever, we'll go past it. We'll sorry. move on. Sorry, sorry. Um, Mark.tricklebank. Is that right? Tricklebank? Oh, no. Yeah. yeah so, so. 83% next with a Cannondale. What do you think of this? System 6 High Mud. I really like this. Yeah? Um, What's doing it for you? The the frame colour and the tan side walls again. <laughs> Just look great. What can we say? Mark's a simple guy. Oh, he yeah, sees yeah. a tan side wall, he loves it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> In fact, talking of which, Pete, our mechanic here, uh, did actually deliver a ton of tan side walls tires to me recently because like no one else wants them but what? I you like seem them. to love them. Well I've got a stash for both of us. Bloody hell yeah. this is incredible scenes. Uh, okay the bike's actually well presented it's in the correct gear I do like uh, interesting. the... Interesting says he's got oh he said oh no so he changed the standard 23 mil <clears throat> tires to 28 I thought it said 23 oh. mil on the front and 28 on the back and I thought that's, oh. that's an interesting um, combination. Uh, he's got uh, the racewear Garmin mount and added brand stickers to the frame. 23 mil tires is quite narrow to come on a modern bike like that, isn't it? When you say it's added brand stickers to the frame, is that because it's custom or would it, did it come with a minimal Ooh, brand? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure of that. Um, cool. I like the SRAM red group set with the like polished silver bits and the black accents mm, between it. Nice. Okay, um, are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, super, super nice. nice. Yes. Yeah. Um, next, ashwin.k. Yeah, it's an Orbea Orca Aero. Oh, um, this is a pre couple of generations ago, this one. Yeah. Not the latest. Um, Quite an edgy photo, a bit of an edgy photo, sort of gives a uh, kind of prison yeah. vibes. <laughs> prison <laughs> vibes. When have you ever been to a prison? Uh, yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> um, I see one fundamental flaw with this. Have you noticed the flaw? The cranks? You're close. Uh, Anything else about the crank that stands out to you? It has no pedals. It's got no pedals <laughs> on it. Where's your pedals? Oh, I did have to check with you when you said floor, whether you actually meant the floor, the gravel. Oh, yeah, um, the gravel, but sorry. No. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, I like the colours. I like the bike. Um, valves aligned, tyres aligned, it's in the correct gear, it's got no pedals. It is um, a nice colourway, isn't it? 83% of people voted this, it's super nice. Has that been customised with that vision stem? Because that's not... The, oh, that's like is a one-piece handlebar. An, is it, is that, is it might that be standard? an Orbea Mayo build. It could be. Very cool. I like that. <sighs> God. Oh, I'm torn. I'm so torn on it. I... I don't want to give away my answer too much. Well, okay. You count us in. Three, two, one. Nice. <laughs> Did you even say that? <laughs> I was too tall it. I'm going to say so, nice. So, I think this could so easily be a super nice. Yeah. It's just, it's literally, you know, get the cranks just perfectly yeah, aligned. Yeah, it's just maybe a nice for me. It's, It could be a super nice so easily. <clears throat> Sorry. I feel bad then. Um, said Blaze. Okay. 84%. He's got, he's got a Trekimonda 21. Ooh. Apparently it's slightly modified to have this ultra unique look. Change the cockpit, yeah. the chain ring, and of course the wheels. Next on the list, ceramic speed. I think there's a typer here. OPW. I missed the S, didn't Yeah. You? Anyway, we know what you mean. Over pulley wheel. <laughs> uh, yeah, is that a custom stem? That's an interesting looking stem, isn't it? Well, I think, yeah, they're saying they've, um, they changed the cockpit out, so I presume this would have come with a one-piece handlebar and stem, ah. and they've switched it out to use a separate bar and stem, right. which I don't know is good if you're doing that to get your bike fit and position dialed in. That's the limitation of one-piece bar and stem. Yeah. I do um, like the one-piece bar and stem, though. Um, the yeah. Look, but anyway, um, that's cooler. Are my um, eyes deceiving me, or is this a deeper wheel at the back and a shallow wheel at the front? I think it is, yep. Okay. It's, uh... Unusual to see DT Swiss wheels on a Trek bike. 
True. Yeah. I mean, don't think that, yeah, because they don't come stock with no, yeah. only bond traders. Um, obviously, the uh, the elephant in the room, the uh, chain ring. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm not feeling the chain ring. If I'm honest, I'm really sorry. Yeah, I agree. Uh, be fine on a TT bike, maybe. Yeah, but it's because uh, it, it, I think it's because it's such a slight looking frame. Yeah, and then this massive. I quite like the bottle cages, though. Um, valves are uh, valves are just about aligned. Tires are just about aligned on the wheels. Oh, I'm feeling generous. Three, two, one. Super nice. nice. Oh wow! <laughs> Straight in there. All right, uh, next one. This is from MB Foxy Soxy. <laughs> That's such a weird one. <laughs> uh, it's a Coronago C64 Frozen Silver. Uh, and I was going to say, is it custom, but they've given it frozen. Oh, I would guess maybe that's stock. You can get frozen silver. I think it is, yeah. That's one of the yeah. colorways you can wow, choose on that. That is very cool. Yeah, so full SRAM red access, ceramic speed, um, BB Fusion wheels, Continental um, GB5000 tires, Envy wheels, 38 bars, 120 stem, tie, powder, tie pedals. Basically, it's been tricked out a lot of this. It's a, yeah, very nice looking bike. Um, There's a lot of gubbins on the bed. Why is there multiple blankets, unnecessary fluffy pillows, unnecessary fake roses? It's a no from me. Um, it looks like a hotel room. Yeah. No? Okay, back to the bike. Sorry, yeah, I've gone sorry, yeah. yeah. Um The cranks are they gone a, Maybe they've gone on a nice romantic weekend away with their car. Them and their bike. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we mocking people? That's really sorry, no, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the bike's moving cool. Yeah. It's a shame that the cranks aren't aligned. I know, I was thinking that. The, all this needed was for the cranks to be aligned. They've gone to the effort of getting the valves aligned. Yeah. Um, Maybe it's so that they uh, rest it. They're trying to rest it against the frame of the bed. Yeah, I think that is actually what it what's is. going on. Which All right, on three. One, two, three. Super nice. nice. Oh, oh wow! Because it's falling so to pieces now. Can I still ring them? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> okay, right. We must be getting near to the top three soon, are we? Yeah, not? yeah. Okay, um, right, next one from Tony84. 86%. This is a Chinelli Superstar disc. Love it. I love um, this. It's great. Tan sidewalls for you. Uh, power Ooh, meter. You? Yeah, I won. Yeah. Nice. Um, lovely paintwork. Yeah. I love the Chinelli paintwork on this. It's really I'm, nice. I've got to say, I'm digging this. Yeah. I, I think this is a pretty simple one. Really simple. On three, three, two, one. All right, super, super nice. <laughs> <laughs> Another trek in here from Mr. Mr. Udolf or M. Rudolf. Mr. Udolf. Um, Madon SLR7, <clears throat> Project One. This oh, is cool, isn't it? This was after their first 100 mile bike ride, apparently. So, this is, yeah, I like it. Very sort of stealthy, very sort of unobtrusive, I would say. Yeah. Valves aligned, cranks are aligned. It's upsetting me again that it's lent up against the wall. Left hand shifter's going to be taking the brunt of that. Oh, it's pebble dash wall as well. Cool. Yeah. I, I, think. I can't say I like pebble dash walls. Uh, yeah, I think that craze has been and gone, hasn't it? Yeah, also um, the weed, weeds need doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the bike. Um, yeah, the sorry, vibe, the bike yeah. is uh, it's great. It's lovely. I'm going to, all right, on three. One, two, three, nice. Super nice. Oh, I actually really like this bike. Don't worry, we can edit this out. One, two, three, super nice. nice. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Do it right, again. No, not a third time. <laughs> okay, what have we got now? It's uh, uh, Air Weaver 1, 86% Bianchi Sprint. Uh, apparently, they're very happy with this build. All zip components, seat post, 130mm um, stem, negative 12 got degrees. 404 wheels, zip 404s. Oh, yeah. like they look this. good on there, actually. They do look good. Yeah. I like this. Is this what I'm on about, proportions. Yeah. <clears throat> it looks great. It does. It looks quite a racy position with that big boy stem. Oh, yeah, wow. Um, oh yeah, I, I, like a sort of classic drop handlebar as well. That shape. <clears throat> What's um, nice garage door as well, actually. Slightly, very slightly triggering me that the valves, whilst they are aligned with each other, they're not aligned correctly. Mm. But I wonder, can you think of any good reason for that? Uh, just the logos. They want to get the logos so they can. So we could of... let that slide. Yeah, I, I like this. All right. It's something I'm not sure. 
whether I'd find it comfortable to ride, given that. It's but, not your bike. No, You're not exactly. riding it. <laughs> 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 you never ride in it ever. Uh, yeah, true. Okay, three, two, one. Super, super nice. nice. Ring yeah. the bell. Um, R underscore M underscore Turner, 89% next, Pinero Prince, T-I-C-R. Yeah, waited for four months for this to arrive. Combination of Brexit and the pandemic. Uh, the wait was worth it. New bike day is the best. Waiting four months for a new bike's not actually yeah, that bad these days. That's, that's what we've become accustomed to. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Or go to your local bike shop, pick the thing up the same day. So this sounds like this is before they've even ridden on it because they're saying new bike day is the best. Oh, wow, yeah. This is that's... like, this is fresh out of the box, ready to go for the first ride. I think so. That's exciting. That's really cool. Um, um, I'm loving this. It's so... What wheels are they? Is Not this white? Terrible. I'm struggling to tell from the... It is it just is white, pure yeah. white, right? It's pure white. Okay. I thought it had like a pink tinge to it. It's um, pure white, baby. Nice. Um, very nice, yeah, very good. I like, so this is what, you see, this is probably not necessarily the, specifically the Pinarello Prince, but this style of bike is mm. probably what most people should be riding. Like something that's maybe not designed around a race bike. Like, that's what I think. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I love riding race bikes, but for I mean, the majority of people- It's still a very racy bike. Yeah, it's the Prince. It's not like the dogma, like- it's still, a, it's still a Pinarello. It's a Pinarello, but I'm trying to say like the geometry and the layup of it is designed to make people feel a bit more comfortable. Yeah, I know, I understand you. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> fair enough. Um, plus, yeah, it's one hell of a sick bike. Uh, I'm ready. To, I'm ready to vote. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Three, two, one. Super, super nice. nice. No tan or tires though. Um, next, next, Harry seven four seven four ninety one percent. This got It's a BMC Time Machine Road. Um, Gave the bike a good clean during the weekend. Little smiley emoji face hey. with love hearts. Uh, <laughs> so we had this one earlier, didn't we? Just in a different colorway. Oh yeah. Um, but this photo is class. They've, they've done a good job on this. Yeah, it's, it's just a wall in the background, am I right? Because it yeah. looks. Yeah, it is. But yeah, there's but a nice depth of field. There's a nice depth it. of field and um, they've got the light perfect with the yeah, the, the colorway on frame. Yeah, the light, <laughs> perfect with the light. Uh, and I can't yeah, fault it. I can't, I can't. fault it. It's, it's a nice looking setup. There's nothing kind of stand out about the setup. Oh, it has actually got OSP. Oh, sorry, it's got oversized jockey wheels on there. I can't see which brand. No, I mean, if you can see which brand from that, um, you're doing well. So that's the only noticeable mod that I can see. Um, Slightly upsetting that the valve caps are left on. If I wanted to be picky. I think we really are nitpicky because we haven't mentioned this once on any others. But. Yeah, but I'm trying to be picky. What have you got against this guy? Nothing. I, I think it's great. Okay, on three. One, two, three. Super, Super nice. nice. <laughs> right, okay. This, I think, leads us on to the best, most supernized bike as voted ever for the eternity of the GCN app and any other nondescript, over-the-top words I can possibly think of, which I've run out of. Incredible, amazing, beautiful, the most exciting, wonderful, fantastical, magical. Anyway, this one comes from thing. Max. Um, it Thanks is. For saving me there. <laughs> yeah. I was just going to keep Obeya going. Orca Aero Custom. Uh, it got 91%. That's incredible. So let me, let me read the description here. My dream bike, an Orbea Orca Aero, which I ordered in my fave colours and built it up from scratch in my cellar. It's totally customised and the results of my dreams. Every detail is how I always imagined it. Tubeless, carbon rims, DI2, carbon bottle cages, brackets, yes they are, in awesome, etc. Dot, dot, dot. I don't have the words to describe the feeling. I hope you love it as much as I do. Thanks. Double kiss at the end. Uh, well, well, yeah. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> it is nice. It is nice. It's a, it's a lovely colorway, isn't it? Do you know what? I, can I, I don't think I don't know if I can do this. Uh -oh. I love the bike. Uh -oh. I don't think it's number one for me. I, I think that's why I had the pause as well because I was kind of. It is nice. Yeah. I don't really have anything bad to say about it. Love it. But yeah, it's not my favourite. It's not my favourite ever. But fair play, it is an absolutely yeah, sick and. It is a really bike. cool bike. I'd be very very happy to. Okay, ride because this you myself. said I didn't pick this out on any of the other bikes. Valve caps are on there. We could do with getting those gone. Yeah. Um, what is it they said about the bottle cages? Bottle cages, yes, they are 
effing awesome. Yeah, I, they've got kind of like graphics and skull and crossbones and all sorts on them. Are they see. awesome though? I'm not entirely convinced. I, you know, but if they look down at them every day when they're yeah. riding and they get a bit of a buzz from it, that's quite well, what cool. Makes and it's subtle. Cage, it's what subtle. makes bottle cages awesome is if they hold your bottle correctly. Um, flared handlebar slightly, it looks like. You wouldn't be happy about no, that. No, they're not. A little bit, maybe. No? Surely not on nah, an Orbea or Orca right. Aero. Okay. Why would you put flared bars on <laughs> Okay, I do like it though. Um, quite a small size. Do you know what? I am in agreement on this. On three, one, two, three. Super, Super nice. nice. <laughs> right, that's incredible. Um, we've actually, should we, should we just wrap this up for the year? We've Why rambled not? on for long enough. That's the top 10 super nice um, bikes ever. Um, I don't really have much else to say. Mark, I hope everyone's enjoying Christmas and the new year. Yeah, have a great one. Enjoy your Christmas, don't oh, eat too much. I've got one more thing to say. Actually, please do get involved in the comments section down below and share your thoughts on all of these bikes and it's down to you guys uploading all the pictures of your bikes, the hard work that you put in. I know we're a little bit picky and fussy at times, but do upload using the new uploader. Links in the description down below, and we'll keep this going into 24 and forever more. God, oh, that was emotional, wasn't it? It was. Uh, right, Ravi. See you later. Bye.